Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This video is going to be my breakdown of the Walking Dead Season 5 trailer. Hopefully you guys have had a chance to see the Comic-Con footage that I posted over the weekend, but basically the footage they showed during that panel is the trailer that you guys have seen, or hopefully you've seen it. AMC is really nice about posting it immediately after the panel. The movies that were there, like Avengers 2, Batman vs Superman, they do not release their clips. I have no idea why, but the Walker shit has just hit the fan. In case you guys just found me during Comic Con or you're just finding me now, I do weekly Walking Dead videos. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I'll explain who the winner of my giveaway is at the end of this video. So trailer time. They pick up right in that last moment of the season 4 finale, Rick's final line before it cut to the credits. They have this crazy Inception trailer music that a lot of people have been using recently, that wah sound. It's really crazy. I think the Godzilla trailer did the same thing. It's just meant to put you into this state of anxiety, and I say mission accomplished. On the plus side, they did crank the lighting up. It's like you can actually see people's faces inside that train car. During the finale, they shot that in like complete darkness. I had to scoot up to my TV just to see who was still alive. It basically looks like they tear gassed the train car before storming in to subdue everyone. But from the looks of it, everyone just bolts the minute they get the chance. All in the first few minutes of episode 1. Then we get a little bit of confirmation on the whole cannibal thing. That table that Rick sees as he hits the ground, it's pretty safe to say that that's a body being carved up there. Just like you'd see someone carve a side of beef. More steaks for the grill, unless you want some ribs. You do not want the ribs. Gareth has this cool creepy monologue where he starts speechifying his new way of life. Actor Andrew J. West did that interview on Talking Dead where he said that Gareth has like this weird new philosophy about life after the apocalypse and how it can be. He made it sound super creepy and at the time they had not confirmed all the cannibalism at Terminus but I think that's exactly what his new way of life is. Then they basically just line everyone up like they're going to slaughter them like pigs. This trough that you see them hanging their heads over, that's for collecting blood. It looks pretty much like Bob talks their way out of it, like he just talks faster than I talk after three cups of coffee. That's pretty goddamn fast, but it looks like Gareth buys into Eugene's cure idea in the Washington DC trip. It jump cuts to some generic Terminus shots until Rick is with baby freaking Judith. Reunion time, hallelujah. That just confirms that Carol and Tyrese makes it in okay, but we see a lot of different scenes later in the trailer, so I'm just going to do this as we go along. Then we see him on the road again with the weapons cache. I was pretty sure they weren't just going to drop that story bit, like a hidden arsenal of automatic weapons. Rick's tearing down a Terminus poster so I think it's just foreshadowing the fall of Terminus. Then we get full on Rick action hero. I just love how Rick looks like Mel Gibson in the Road Warrior in this slow motion shot, which is funny because they actually showed footage from that new Mad Max movie at Comic Con 2. So if it wasn't clear earlier, you can definitely see in these next couple of scenes they're inside a church in a lot of these moments. Since Gareth is the only person with them, it looks like they've left Terminus at this point whenever they're in these church scenes. So you can see the trailer just jumping backwards and forwards in time. I think it's all just taken from the first couple of episodes. Typically trailers do not use moments from too far in advance, unless it's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones actually uses moments from the trailer all the way up to the finale. It's crazy. This fire hose walker repellent doesn't look like it's happening at Terminus, but the thing that grabs my eye is that it looks like Terra is just casually sitting off to the side. It might not be her, it could be someone totally different, but it's definitely not a walker. It's just someone there that's enjoying the water show. In the Talking Dead special, Lauren Cohan said there are a couple weaklings in the group that get to be badasses in the premiere. Based on Bob Stokey going on Michonne on this walker, I'm guessing she was talking about him. He's come a long way from that time Daryl almost pushed him off the roof. So let me get some nice callbacks to the early episodes in season 4. Look at this shopping mall pit to hell. It's a nice twist on the walkers falling from the ceiling last year. All that water and the walkers in it reminds me of the governor's piranha tank. Glen Mazzara did say that they developed a lot of new looking walkers we haven't seen before and this guy actually looks pretty new, like melty face walker. Here I'm totally digging the Carl and Michonne team up. I hope she teaches him to use that sword some point this year. It looks like she's modified it to be double ended which is just awesome. This nighttime exterior shot is just that church that we've seen everyone inside and in all the other scenes. Rick talks about not going anywhere without the rest of the survivors, jumps back to Terminus, back to the church, and then Sasha says, you know, you show up and then three of us are gone. She's talking about Abraham, Rosita, and Eugene whenever they showed up last season. She didn't meet them till Terminus, but the ones so far that are gone are Beth, Lizzie, and Mika. She doesn't know that Beth's still alive. And so here is where all hell breaks loose at Terminus. Just look at all the walkers in the flames. I just love this explosion. I cannot imagine how many barrels of gasoline they had to burn to get the flame that big. That's just how they accomplish special effects like that. They basically just light giant tanks of gasoline on fire and they make flames really big. This person does look like a new ginger, but I think it's just Carol covering herself in mud on approach to Terminus. 
And so here's this scene that everyone's been freaking out about. Glenn almost getting a baseball bat to the back of the head at Terminus. It's just because of the comics. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but it's pretty WTF. I don't think he dies or anything because he's in a lot of those other scenes in the trailer that look like they happen after that moment at Terminus, like after they've left Terminus. Remember, the trailer's jumping around in time. The baseball bat scene looks like it's from whenever they first get yanked up to that trough, whenever Bob Stokey stops them from getting all their throats slit. Scott Gimple did say they would continue to have a rotating cast this season, but I'll explain what that means later. Here's our first look at Seth Gilliam as Father Gabriel. I know the minute he was cast, everyone wondered if he was going to be playing Gabriel from the comics just because he kind of resembled him. They did confirm that during the Comic-Con panel, so I'm assuming that church that they're at is his church. The real twist is that it looks like he did not take Beth, like he had nothing to do with Beth. She hasn't been in any of the church scenes, and she shows up with a different group later in the trailer. Then we cut back to Badass Rick. I love in all these random shots how he's holding a machine gun. Let's just agree to call him Machine Gun Rick this year. And so then we finally get a look at the other big location. It's like the second Terminus type place that they're going to be filming at during season 5. Or they're still filming at. It's a hospital and they have been filming there a lot. So it seems like based on the number of days they've been shooting, Beth is going to stay there for a long time. No idea where it's located on the map relative to Terminus. So this person is one of the new cast members who I'm just going to call Lady Cop for now, or maybe Asshole Lady Cop. Her real name in real life is Christine Woods, but we do not know what her character's name is yet, or if it ties into the comics. Scott Gimple did reveal that these people that took Beth, they're the ones behind the crosses. He said that even though they invoke a lot of imagery from the saviors in the comics, they are not the saviors. So that lady cop is not going to be Lady Negan, even though the idea of a gender-bent Negan gets me really excited. But let me know, what do you think about the idea of a gender-bent Negan? Would you totally go for that, or do you think it's a terrible idea? That's a whole lot of Lady F-bombs. But Beth's storyline is supposed to be pretty substantial, like way bigger than it's ever been in the past. And it's going to take place away from the rest of the survivors, at least for a while. So I'm guessing that the hospital that she's at is the home base of the cross people, or whatever they're going to call themselves. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the actual escape from Terminus because it looks like that might all go down in that first episode. Based on the way the scenes in the trailer were cut, it seems like Rick and the group get Gareth to buy into the Washington DC cure story so he lets them go to pursue it. But Rick turns them around so that they don't have to, you know, quote unquote, leave anyone behind. Then they grab the weapons cache and let the walkers in and blow the place to hell. Gareth is a cast regular this season, so for whatever reason, it seems like he convinces Rick to take him with them. I'm going to think of him as like the little finger of the group this season from Game of Thrones. If you don't watch that show, just think of him as like a person that no one trusts who is a super creeper. But let me know what your favorite WTF moment from the trailer was and who do you think that Lady Cop is? Do you think she's like Lady Negan or someone else? But Walking Dead is back Sunday, October 12th. I will be doing the weekly videos I did for it just like I did during season 4, the weekly giveaway. It's probably going to overlap with my Doctor Who giveaway. You guys will just have more chances to win free shit. It'll be awesome. Real quick shout out to the winner of my Comic-Con giveaway. Congrats to the Yowling Fox. You win a Walking Dead Funko Pop figure of your choice. I'll message you on your channel for details, so be sure to check your inbox. My next Walking Dead bonus video is going to be a character breakdown for Daryl, because if you look at him pre-Beth disappearance and in the trailer, he looks like he's going through a massive transformation, just like Rick is kind of gone back to being a badass. There are going to be a lot of characters swinging from one end of the spectrum to the other. I'll try to post that video either like Sunday or Monday. Right now though, click here if you have not seen the Walking Dead Comic Con panel, it's really cool. And click here to get my breakdown of the Batman vs Superman footage that they also played at Comic Con. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow, high vibes.